Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers. Today is finally the day we're gonna investigate the Advent Black Site in Operation Dead Man's Downs. It uh, sounds really, really badass. It's a difficult mission, obviously, and I'm expecting somewhere between, uh, yeah, 12 to 15, maybe 20 enemies even. And we get uh, 144 supplies and a lot more if I remember this correctly. So let's launch. Our contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. So if we're lucky, we might even complete two objectives at once, because we all also have two skull jacks with us. So, investigate the Advent Black Site. We need to find out what the aliens were hiding in here. And if we can, we can also skull jack. We should also uh, skull jack an Advent officer if there is any on this. Uh, well, in this Black Site, which I'm hoping it is, there is. Uh, this is going to be one of the longer missions in the game. Especially because, you know, it's a very, very big place. And I think we even start on the outside of it, obviously. But uh, we need to go approach the building, infiltrate the building, and uh, clear out the entire place. So, our biggest drawback today is going to be that we don't have any shredding aside from Elena's rifle at the moment, I think. We now have shredding on that, but otherwise, we're pretty much boned. There we go. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Even though Bradford says neutralize all hostile contacts, I don't think it's a requirement of the mission itself. Uh, but as you can see, this area is huge. But we start in concealment, which is something at least. Uh, so I'm gonna put... Um, maybe Alessia first, because Alessia has the sniper rifle. I don't know if there's gonna be a turret up here. There might actually be one. So I'm just going to set her over here on the corner as an outpost. And I'm guessing we're going to get back to you guys in a second when we first see something. And that is literally on my second, yeah, on my second move. So, okay, so there's a turret over there with four armor. That's very heavy, but with a grenade we can take it out in one go if we want to. But I don't know if we already want to. So for now, I'm just going to approach. I need to remember that Sarah actually gets an automatic overwatch shot if she uh, ends her turn with movement. But for now, everything seems pretty quiet. Okay, so we moved up again. And I think now it's high time to actually try and hack the uh, turret. It's a heavy turret. So that would be really, really nice if we can actually check that out. It's going to reveal us if we manage to grab it. 47% Increase the target's aim and defense stats, but I can take it out with a single grenade, so Don't think this is gonna be a problem. It's 50-50 To actually get it, so I'm gonna go for it And we don't get it Damn it Failed overdrive And I think that might actually reveal us as well Yeah, so revealed so I could try that again. I could try that again. With... Uh, Kali over here. We could try that again. Dual strike. Okay, yeah. Haywire protocol. Uh, I don't know if its defenses actually work on a hack level. It doesn't. So now we still have 40% chance. But that's going to increase the, the aim again. No, definitely not. Okay. We failed that twice, we tried, but uh, it's high time we actually take that thing out. So if we move Alessia up here, I think we can just take it out with a single grenade. And she still has a grenade, I won't be doing anything else with her, so oh, there's something else. A shield barrier and a spectre. Okay, we're getting into the heavies. It's fine for now, I think, but uh, yeah, let's first take care of that turret with that singular grenade. So throw a frag grenade, 
all the way down here. Maybe just take out the corner so we don't risk Alessia dropping down as well. There we go. Little grenade down. And there it goes. Yeah, down it goes. Okay. Elena should probably stay in shadow. Oh, hmm. So Heidi could actually go and try and shotgun it. But the Spectre is going to have too much health to even deal with that. So the Claymore could actually get them both and take out the cover. No. I can take out both, but I can't take out the cover of the Spectre if I see this correctly. So let's... Throw that over there, so that's going to be 8 damage. If we actually trigger it, of course. You know what, I'm going to put Lena a little bit closer, although I don't really have a good position for her either. Uh, I could put her a bit closer over here. Then I'm going to give her extra action, unless I can shoot it from here, but I can't. I'm going to give her extra action to Elena, so she can trigger the, the Claymore. So let's shoot at... Oh, crap. Okay. No Claymore for me. I can't see the Claymore. That is annoying. Okay. So that means that it's Heidi's thing to blow up now. So if I put Heidi over here... Should be able to... Yeah, now I can see the Claymore. So let's hit that thing. And it seems to be... Yeah. Seems to be doing okay. And we get an extra explosion there as well. Does that take out... Wait, did that take out? No. But for some reason, again, I get the bug that... Yeah, I can't shoot at either of those now anymore. For some reason, that blocks cover. Well, there shouldn't have been any blocked cover, but okay. Then I don't have any other choice than to put Elena on Overwatch and see what happens now. There's stuff happening over there. Okay. There's the assassin. So many have already fallen. Okay. So, uh, immune to explosions, and she can now summon Advent Priests as well, but she still takes additional damage from more than three attacks and from Reapers. And yet my work is never done. There she goes. The Chosen Assassin is moving near your position. Stay on guard, people. I'm more worried about the other things now. Oh god. Is he gonna go for Shadow? Yeah, shadow bound. Okay, that's good. That means at least one less shot. Even though that thing gets a move. I think it's only a move. Oh, it can move again. Okay. And then the shield bear is probably just going to activate shields. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's not too bad. I'm hoping that Alessia's floor isn't going to disappear. Because that would be really bad. Because it's starting to look like it. And we're going to lose a staircase in a minute. But. But, but, but. 85% shot downstairs. Or worse shot. So definitely the 85 on the Spectre. Like. This. Um, that's 8 damage. I think that's one short of killing it. That is one short of killing it. Okay. Could technically use combat protocol, but I think that probably putting uh, Lena out there with a rend is going to be the easiest thing to do. So let's just uh, rend the Spectre. That also means we get um, we get Heidi back. There we go. Does it leave psionic energy as well? That would be really nice. There we go with one. So Heidi now goes to well to conscious again from unconscious. Then we parry with Leda, obviously. Then. Hmm. 
I think you could actually go over here and get a shot at the shield bay. There we go. How much do we have? 63% chance shots. Not too bad, but I think I can finish it with a sword in one go as well. So, there we go. Blade Master 5 damage. That puts away the sword. And I think we still have Implacable, right? Yeah, so we can move back if you want to. But I think we're pretty safe. If I leave Lena out in the open there, she should be fine against the uh, assassin. And then everybody else, I just need to move up. Uh, so Elena as well, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so the Chosen didn't do anything, but I feel like Alessia is in a bit of trouble there. Can we go up, please? Yeah, she's definitely, she's standing in the middle of a, of a blaze of glory, but that's not something we want to really put her in. So let's drop her down so she doesn't have to deal with all of that. Um, let's put it down in full cover over here. Apparently that doesn't set her on fire, which is fine by me. And let's just move everybody up further. There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the Skulljack. And there's the black side. There's the black side. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Okay, so there's one on the side of the building. But if I can use the train as cover, we might actually be able to approach pretty close without triggering them. And there goes the next batch. So that's a trooper and an officer at least. And a shield bearer, okay? I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This is just a sight from Elena. And there goes the assassin. That was definitely the assassin opening the door. So I think... If I move up with Elena, like crossing like this... I should probably trigger the assassin. Yeah, there we go. There it, there it is. So we reveal the assassin. I expected you would eventually intrude into this facility. It went up as well. This time you learn the truth. Forget what you see this day and press forward no more. No good can come from this. It's one of the elders chosen. Yeah, we know. So let's see. I not exactly sure. I think we can only see the Chosen at the moment. I'm gonna move Heidi to the side because maybe she gets a better shot like that. Um, and everybody else as well. But first things first, Alessia. It's a really nice shot at the Assassin. Ooh, that's only 53 because technically she's in full cover. Okay. I could use Elena, but then I'll take the uh, the troopers, and I don't want to do that just yet. Even with Alto. No, she's immune to explosions. I can't do that as well. Uh, so let's put Sarah over here as a first test. I want to see if this wall is just out of reach of those troopers. It is. It is. That is interesting. Sniper rifle shot. I'm probably going to take that first. Because it's 50-50. So I'm not going to get the guaranteed hit, but if I do, it starts counting towards those three attacks. So let's go 50-50 on the Assassin. And that's a hit with seven damage. I'll take it gladly. I'll take it gladly. Um, then Heidi can move up. I'm going to put her two spaces from Sarah for now. And she gets a 66% shot. It's also not good, but it's something. And then the last one, I think, is, yeah, Kelly. I'm going to have to see here. So this is that line. This is that line. This is that line. This is that line. So if I put her over here, she still has a flank shot. Absolutely. Let's see. If I shoot now, that's a 72% chance. But we can do the coordinated attack, the dual strike. A combined standard shot attack by this soldier and their bomb mate. This shot is a free action for the bomb mate. So let's do that now. I want to see that dual strike in action. One, two, three. And does Heidi shoot as well? Yeah. You made this too easy. And she misses twice. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, that's something I want to do. Amplify on the assassin. 
There we go, see she's amplified. And now I can even fire at it. It's gonna be really, really crap, but... There we go. Missed. Auto pistol. Then, Sarah has an 85% shot and now the damage is up to 11 and 15. There we go. That's definitely a, hi a hit. And now she's bewildered as well. So, uh, Heidi's final shot is 76 now. Because I think it's increased because uh, we already tried firing at it. So if we hit this... Oh, we miss. That's too bad. I'm not gonna fire with... Oh, I get a free action. I get a free action with the hair trigger. Come on, 76. Hit her. And she's burning. Is she... Did she go down? No. She has one health. But I think the burning should actually take her out. Yeah, okay. Whew. That was the, the assassin down in one go. Find an opponent worthy of my skills. Rarer still to find one capable of besting me more than once. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now we just have are to they leaving? Them down for good. What are they doing? I feel like they're running away. That's not good. I still hear another turret. So I think I'm gonna follow them first with Elena and see what else happens next. Let's see. So Sarah supposedly has the biggest hacking stat. So I'm just gonna move her closer first. And there we go. We triggered those guys. Are they gonna come closer? They are. They are gonna come closer, but can I actually use... It looks like I can use Haywire Protocol. Yeah. Because if I can get that heavy turret in their backs, that would be really, really awesome. And that is going to be another 47% chance, so let's just do that. Oh, we're really unlucky today. We're really unlucky today. So that's another failed hack. But I'm going to try with Kelly as well. I know that takes away all my actions, but there we have the alien facility because the... Uh, the drone went over there. Okay, stop talking oh, sure. to each other. That was really, really confusing. But... But, but, but... Heidi is out of, uh, out, out of everything. But I could probably, yeah, I could definitely sort something. Everybody else is too far, I think. I could rend this guy, the shield bear, but that's basically it. Alessia has a few nice shots though. So, 70 at the trooper on the left. Might as well try it. So he has 8 health, so if I go to 8, that would be nice. Come on, Alessia. There we go. And that's a kill, there we go. Okay, that's at least one less problem to worry about. Then... Um, let's see what we can do with... We can actually do Haywire Protocol from here. Should have done that with uh, Sarah as well. So that's going to be again around 50. Ah, oh, that's not going to be enough. Fuck. We're really unlucky with those today. We're really unlucky with those today. So nothing. Incre <laughs> except from increased uh, attack and defense stats. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put everybody in a better position and see what we can do next turn. This might hurt, but at least we uh, we still have Elena and cover over here. Probably not gonna take very long anymore, but uh, maybe I should even pull her back a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because otherwise I go where you tell me. she doesn't trigger any sidelines over there. We get a mark on Sarah. And the turret probably has... Okay, so that first one is a miss. I hope they don't blow up that vehicle that uh, Elena is hiding behind. And then we get shields from the shield bay. That's fine. And then I think the turret still has an action, right? Or not. Okay. What can we do with remote start, by the way? That car, that car, the thing I'm right next to, and not that, okay. 
Okay. That means that we need to get somebody with a grenade close enough to try this. I could actually Skulljack. Skulljack 70% on the Advent Officer. Um, Might as well try it. We need to try and take out everybody else anyway. So let's Skulljack. Please, 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 please. We're gonna have to... Oh, that looks like... Yeah, that looks like a hit. We're gonna have to deal with the Codex now as well, but... Complete access to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the small Intel cache. It's gonna be better than nothing, and we get it. Now we get the 50% chance, but now things are going to get even worse. But we got the Advent Officer out of the way. And there it is. And we triggered the turret now. Okay, but who's Sarah's bomb mate? I think that's Heidi, right? I think I'm going to use Heidi's action. Oh no, Heidi is with Kelly. Fuck, who's... Bondmate with, uh... Is that you, Alessia? Are you bondmate with... Yeah. You're bondmate with Sarah. So give her your extra action. Like this. Pointy, pointy. And now you can use your grenade. To toss that all the way up there. Oh, can I toss that high enough? Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it over here. It doesn't look like I'm actually hitting it. But uh, it's the best I can do, so here we go. Oh, what the hell? That wasn't even what I was doing. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. This is definitely gonna be a problem. Okay, so the plan is what's coming up next. We're gonna go run and gunning with Heidi. So Heidi goes run and gunning. So run and gunning from over here, straight into the shield bearer's back. Got it covered. So we should be in a pretty good position over there. We have double-sided protection there. If we fire at the shield bearer, we have a 69% chance to actually critting as well. Critting would kill it. Critting would kill it. Ah, we get it. Okay, that's good. Because now the shield drops from the turret as well. Uh, and we get implacable as well, which is also really good. Now, I can move up a few people here. Sure thing. Kelly can go over there. I don't think she has... Does she have combat protocol? That's gremlin heal? No, we don't have combat protocol. And we can't fire at her either. So we can give an extra action to Heidi. I have two more of those. So, Well, one more of those after this. I'm going to do that. So Heidi gets another shot. I could do that on the third. Or I can see what her grenade can do. Because, yeah, her grenade can actually hit it. Okay. Then I don't even need to think about this. She tosses it in a completely wrong direction, but there we go. There goes the third. And then I'm going to hold Lena back because I know the codex is probably over there now. I need a few people on Overwatch. Well, it's going to be only Lena on Overwatch, but at least it's something. And Elena. Because I think the Codex is going to come out now. If it doesn't, I'm fine. Yeah, there it is. Commander, that appears to be the Codex responsible for safeguarding the And there's a troop in the stores. water there as well. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. And there's a mech and a trooper there as well. Okay. I'm guessing... So there's a few openings in the wall right now. I can start moving forward and see... What else we have. Because I really need to start spotting, spotting things with uh, Elena here. So I'm going to put her here first. I will be in position. That gets us a little bit closer. Probably it's not going to show us anything new, aside from the Codex. Ah, the Codex is over there. 
Wait, so then the other aliens are over there in the water. Fine. You can actually fire at it from here. 16.3% chance. Or we could do combat protocol. And that's 5 damage guaranteed. And it should probably move after that. Let's try that. I should have probably put it in a better position before I did that. But there we go. Jolt. Boom. 5 damage. And I think it's probably going to try and run now. So it's going to clone itself. I have never seen anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. So let's put Heidi over here. She can actually sort it, probably. Yeah, let's sort the Codex. Like this, so that's a 100% shot. There goes the first Codex, and then the second one. Because now, of course, it has a clone. I'm going to put Heidi a bit closer again. I'm hoping I don't hit anything now. Because that was a bit dangerous. But, uh, moving up Kelly as well. Moving up Kelly as well. We get a shot. It's 57%. I could go inside, but that's gonna. I'm going to trigger whatever else is left there. Uh, so I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to put her a little bit closer. That gets us a shot, but it's 54 as well. Or Alessia has a 60% shot with the sniper rifle from here. Let's try that. 60%. Not that bad. And there we go, it's down. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everything as it is right now. I know there's at least a trooper and a mech inside of the building. But I wanna see what they're gonna do. If they're not coming out, I'm gonna use Elena as a sort of recon unit again. So I'm gonna put her over here. Moving out. And I think we just... An alien patrol. Okay, so that's where they are. That's where they are, that's great. That's two troopers and a mech. I can hack the mech, probably. Uh, and we still have Heidi over here as well, in a pretty good position. So, let's use Alessia once... Oh, no. You can't see that. Okay. Um, can I use remote start on anything useful? Not really. Not really. So why did I go with the Vector Rifle? The Demnotic Rifle, I'm sorry. On the Advent Mac, because that's going to really weaken it already. So let's just do that. 92% shot on the Mac. And we shred two armor even with the Demnotic Rifle. And we get revealed. Of course. So two troopers and a Mac should be doable. But I think Alessia now should have a shot, right? Yeah, 85 on the max, 61 on the... Ooh, the back trooper. I'm gonna try that, because I can't hit that thing otherwise. That's a very long shot. Holy crap, that was awesome. Okay. My biggest uh, problem has been dealt with. So... Lena, Can you run that guy, please? Can you run that guy? Yes, yes you can. You yes, you can. If I spot anything else in the meantime, I can actually just... Uh, there we go. I can actually just parry. Because I can get rid of the mech. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else right now. So let's just parry. And then Sarah can actually move up as well. Uh, although I don't have a good spot for her. could put her over there. Because I need to put her in cover. Okay. I've learned from Yvonne's death. I don't want to risk any of my troopers anymore. So Sarah goes for the kill. There we go. Mac down. And now Heidi can also move up. Uh, up through the door, I believe. 
And same goes for Kelly. Let's just move her up along with uh, Lena, since we know Lena is pretty safe. We kind of know that she should be as well. And Heidi can move up a bit further as well. And there we go. So next up, I'm going to move Alessia and reload her. Because she's out of bullets and she's in a really bad position as a sniper right now. She did get an, a few nice kills, so that's really, really good. That shot from across the map, holy crap. Would have liked a bullet cam on that one. Aha, we get another batch of enemies. We are on Overwatch though, so... We do get a few shots. I see a Viper and something big. So it might have been a Muton, but I feel like it was... Yeah, two Vipers and a Muton. Well, that is interesting. There we go, they start slithering outwards. That seems to be it. Okay. I think I can get rid of that cover. I have a few more grenades left. Um, where's... Or I keep saying that, but I don't really see many grenades left. Um, let's see. I can actually shoot one from here. The Viper is actually visible. So that means that if I can get that grenade in... So we have one grenade left. If I see this correctly. Yeah, Lena has the final grenade. And then we can toss that grenade all the way... Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Okay. Then that means we need to start using our other abilities. I can only hit... The Serpent. I could use Volt. Volt on the Viper. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's try that. Volt on the Viper. Electricity! And that actually jumped to the other uh, Viper there. We still don't have a better shot. It's still a 26% shot, so that's not good. So I'm gonna take Kelly's 67% shot. If that kills the Viper, that's at least one less to worry about. There we go. Then, does that improve the shot that Alessia has? No. I mean, she has done a few very nice Hail Marys. Let's try it. I mean, that's going to be really awesome if we hit that, but... No, we missed. We didn't even get an extra damage. I thought she had the stock. Sarah actually can't see anybody, so let's just put her over here in full cover. So we can spread our troopers out a bit. We actually have a flank shot now on that Viper. 90% shot, might as well do it. There we go. They dodged it, but we got the tree damage. So now we only have... Why did Heidi get that? Heidi is over there in the bottom. But okay, Elirium Core. Don't look a gift, uh, a gift Elirium Core in the mouth. And I think I'm going to move Heidi over here in the corner. So she's closer, but out of sight. And then that leaves us with only Elena. Uh, and I think I'm going to put her closer as well. If I can put her closer. Because the Muton is not in that good of a position right now. Because he can only shoot through that window. He might actually do it. He goes into Overwatch. Yeah, expected as much. Lena actually has one focus. But since the Muton is on Overwatch, I don't want to risk her getting shot at. Uh, and she can't see him. She could rend, but... You know what? First things first. I think I can use Sarah's last remaining combat protocol on the Muton. Yeah. So we can do that. I don't know if that's going to remove his Overwatch. If that does, that would be nice. So, stun. Did that say Overwatch removed? I didn't see it. Yeah, Overwatch removed. Okay. Okay, but that, then, we're, then we're home free. Because then I can just use uh, Lena with Rend. I can even stay inside, so there we go. Muton dead. Muton dead. Slash. Oh. Oh, right. Mutons get a chance to retaliate. Okay, but she has parry, so that's not that much of a problem. Um, he's still... I mean, he's still gonna die, though. Uh, so let's put... I'm not gonna use melee this time. 
I'm just I'm using I'm using running gun. Uh running gun on the mutal. I'm hoping I don't trigger anything else, but 96% chance. There we go. There we go. Little slow motion effect. And uh, he keeps going. Uh, bye, Muton. He, his planet needs him, I think. Uh, and then Heidi can move again. I could probably put her right next to the objective. Okay, we're not yet out of aliens, clearly. But let's take the vial with Heidi. I'm moving everybody up. So we should be good to go. So there we go. We got a spawn, an alien spawn over there. Is it me or look? Oh, does Heidi look different? No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. Okay, that we will, uh, Bradford. So let's move up so those guys are gonna spawn over there so if i put heidi over here she might have a good overwatch shot alessia needs to move up completely let's put it over here and i think we can pretty much handle whatever comes down there there we go everyone on overwatch and the advent dropship is uh flying through the building uh i hope i haven't put anybody too close because there's a purifier with that and if that explodes because of an overwatch shot I might get damaged. But on the other hand, it could also kill uh, his buddies. There they are. They look a bit glowy, but there's one. That's a miss shot, a hit shot, and another miss. That was really bad. I don't know why he got his health back. Ah, there he goes. Okay. That was apparently it. Shot wise. Wow, the frame rate didn't like that, by the way. Um, but, 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 do we have control now? Ah, there we go. Now we have control. He's he's hiding behind the rock. But that rock isn't really going to help him much, is it? Because uh, I'm going to put Heidi over here. Closing on target position now. And then have her blast at the purifier with reckless abandon. She probably can't even kill it, although with 69 crit. We might. Yeah, I think we killed it. It was there a minute ago. It's gone now. Now we have Implacable, so that's good for in a minute. Then Lena can probably run the advanced trooper. Maybe I should... Can I actually hit it first? No, let's just try rent. If it doesn't kill, we still have plenty of other options. But it looks like we killed. Rend damage increased. And we actually get more focus from uh, the corpse there, but... It's not gonna make a difference. And then we just parry. And then Alessia. How the hell do you not have a shot at that thing? Apparently he, she doesn't. Uh, Sarah needs to reload. But uh, that's gonna be enough, right, 96? There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. We still have an extra move with Heidi. We could go up, I don't know why the camera moved there, but uh, let's put it over here. That's and uh, I'll see you guys in a second when anything happens again. So everyone on Overwatch, we got an automatic Overwatch shot with Sarah as well. So that's, it looks like a priest and a purifier. Oh, and another mech. Why not? Why not? <laughs> you, can see, you can see Elena over there hiding in the shadows. She's invincible. Invisible. Not invincible. Definitely not invincible. But there we go. Three more troopers to kill. Three. Oh, when the purifier is freaking out. Come on, kill the purifier. Oh, and Lena misses with her auto pistol. Ah, uh, we already saw that she's going to hit the priest, but just not kill it. Oh, but that one, that should be dead, right? That was 15 damage. Oh, he has a lot of health. Ah, and he can survive one... Yeah, okay, a death blow. Okay. So that sustainability is probably gonna run out now? Or not? Or is the game confused what to do because he's burning as well? Because he should be dying. Elena, it's high time you get out of... Uh, out of your shadow, right? So let's just shoot the mech. 
Flammo to shredding, so that gets rid of the armor. And they can use up ammo revealed. Uh, ooh, but can I actually kill that? Oh, I can't actually hit the priest at the moment, but I think he's gonna die because of burning, right? I would hope. I'm gonna random mech. Might as well, right? Random mech. That means he's dead anyway. There we go. Rend damage increased. And then I can parry. Might as well now that we're here. I can't shoot at the priest right now, but I could try and blow up the purifier here. So let's go over here. Use the pistol on the purifier and he's bye bye. And I think we're out of the radius of the explosion. There we go. And then Sarah. Sarah should just go into Overwatch. If that priest tries to move, I want to kill it. So there we go. Good copy. Moving on target. On Overwatch. And that galley can just move up. Um, I move over here so we can get to the extraction point next turn. She's the furthest one away, so let's see her walking around. There we go. All the way over here. So he's immune at the moment, but that breaks. So the burn damage actually procs first. Stasis ended. But we have Overwatch Schultz. The first one misses, but the second one doesn't. There we go. Priest down. And we get another dropship over there, but Heidi has her promotion to Major. That's really, really good. I think that... Is that... No? Are you, do you want to show me something? I don't think there is any alien activity anymore. So let's just move everybody in. And there we go. We start evacing everybody. Do need to be careful that I don't miss press. Because that would really hurt. I'm coming home. And last evacuation. There we go. Black side. Eviscerated. We didn't even get hit. Firebrand is returning to base. I think. Mission accomplished, Commander. We just hit Advent. No fancy music or anything. This was a there we go. Chosen taken out, so five extra ability points. And 23 aliens killed flawlessly. That is freaking awesome. I am so proud of our Valkyries. They did an amazing job. They are a well-oiled machine. Those bombs are really coming into their own as well. He has a point, but uh, five of them are tired now. Only Lena actually got out of there without... But it's really close, if I look at the bar, without being tired. But Heidi, up to Major. And that means either Deep Cover, if you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Or Untouchable, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. So that means we get two Immortal units. Which will be very cool. So I'm going to go for Untouchable. So if you have Heidi and Lena. Uh, Lena can parry and Heidi is Untouchable. So that's two hits we uh, don't necessarily get hit by. Um, then we get Lena. Now I'm really curious. So if we get the Flect, we can also go for Reflect. When the Templar has two or more, fo more focus, there is a chance to Reflect incoming shots back at the attacker. Completely avoiding damage, and of course, this does reflect. Because that was, I think, the uh, the difference with deflect. So deflect doesn't... Uh, yeah, so it's the same percentage chance, but it just reflects the damage back at the attacker. It doesn't happen too much, and it doesn't work on melee attacks. Um, so I'm going to check the rest. Switch locations with an enemy unit. What? That is also crazy. And then deep focus, the maximum focus level is increased to 3. Yeah, definitely. Don't even need to think about that. I knew that was probably coming. So that is great there. Um, hmm, I'm wondering if I, if I can use lightning hands as well. Um, but otherwise, I think we're fine. I think we're fine for now. She still has a bit of ability points. I could go into deflect and reflect because those are passive abilities but i need 25 points in total to actually get that so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i want to see what else she can do later on when she hits uh major that's that that was really cool and what do we get please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the codex brain 
We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. So we get the Codex Brain and the Black Side file, then a Lilirium Core, expand a magazine and a scope. And we get 20 intel from one of the hacks. So uh, that's that. Alien encryption, don't really need that. I've now seen the inner workings of the Black Side facility. The outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. So there we go, avatar progress reduced by one because of the codex kill and by one as well because of the advent black side vial. So that means that the timer supposed to be gone. are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. But, we go back to the map, there we go. Sight. You have dealt a blow to the alien and operations, another one down. Commander, but there is still no time to lose. Definitely no time to lose, because that means we're still only two Commander, bars away. Remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Aha, we get UFO interceptions now as well. I think we need to move towards one of the facilities, because if we don't do that now... We lose our option to reduce the timer immediately. We also need to be careful because I think the very creepy aliens are also going to start popping up. But let's get those alien alloys and then start making contact with Europe. Oh, and I think I needed to do some maintenance as well first. Let me see. I think I need to shuffle around some... Uh, there we go. So the engineers, there's an extra engineer that can go in here. We can have them working on construction. And there's only five days left for that. So that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now all our engineers are actually busy. Five engineers, five filled in slots. I'm also checking out the new tactics. I could go with the boost to the hunter's attack. So one damage against flanked enemies and sword attacks have a bonus 10% chance to critically hit. Uh, or the Templar can start with one focus. That's also really cool. I think the extra hit chance and critical hit chance on overwatch shots and the Hunter's Instinct are going to be really nice. But I need to be careful. I think Hunter's Instinct is going to come in... No, we have more, more high ranked uh, specialists, so let's go with the specialists first. And leave the rest of the supplies for that. And then let's start scanning. Okay. And new Chile has decreased by 23. That's a lot. That's a lot, and there's the UFO. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. So we can instantly make contact now, so that's only 40 intel, so let's do that. So that's Europe over there, I'm just gonna skip this because we've seen that. And we're back at full supplies. Until we upgrade our systems. But we get access to Eastern Europe and Eastern US. The local resistance we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the Chosen operating in this region. And we get our final Chosen, the Grimwalker, the Hunter. You better bring everything you've got. Gerher Balladur, that's a, a fancy name. Um, so he's probably a sniper, I would assume. Um, so Western Hunter. Western Hunter? Western Europe. Taken over by the Hunter. I uh, could make more contact, but I think... Now that we still have the time, this takes supplies, right? If I want to put down... Ooh. 150 for a radio relay. That's really, really pricey. Uh, but we at least made contact. Uh, I'm going to wait until we have that shielded power coil to actually uh, rearrange my uh, engineers a bit. So before we do that, let's go back to the Reaper HQ and gain some more intel. Because I don't think we have anything else that we can start scanning at. No. No, no, no. So Reaper HQ. And we get a retaliation strike. Immediately. Ooh. Okay. You led them down this path, Commander. And now your friends are going to pay the price. Course for the Western Europe. There we go. That's gonna... Be interesting. Um, 
Because I don't have a lot of good soldiers available now. Because most of them... Most of them are actually hurt. Although Sarah has recovered. So this is actually not that bad. Um, I'm going to remove... Lisbeth. And get in... Marina. So Marina is our other grenadier. But she has the heavy... The heavy package. And other than that, we're just lacking a sniper. So I changed things up a little bit. So Lisbeth is going to be our sniper on this mission with the tracer rounds. Then we have Marina with all the explosives she would need. Jacqueline as well, which is also really good. And then uh, I used Kelly instead of Sarah, because Kelly has the bond with Heidi, and that means two extra actions I can share. She has the medkit and the skulljack, so we can do whatever we want with that. And then, of course, Heidi herself with the grenade and the dragon rounds. And Lena. Lena is going to be tired after this mission, but at least we're going to be able to uh, get out of this. It's our first very difficult mission, but uh, we're going to have to wait until next time because I'm going to take a little break until we... Uh, well, next time we're going to do Operation Death Slayer. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye!